for all the supplies I use in case you guys want to go ahead and build this mirror for yourself. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just do it. So starting off here, I took the LED strip and just attached it to the back of the mirror. Um, it is battery powered, but it wasn't too thick to where I couldn't put it on the back of the mirror and it would be protruding off the wall or anything. So I just used a piece of Velcro and I super glued that to the back of the battery pack and then I just wrapped around the LED lights to the front. So I'm just going around the mirror here and gluing the LED lights onto the outer rim of the mirror. Um, I just went around the mirror one time and then that used about half of the LED light rope that I had and I stopped there. I decided it would be better if I went ahead and put on the moss and got that filled in first and then go back through with the remainder of the LED lights so that they would be sticking out more and not really hidden by all of the other elements that I'm putting onto the mirror. How is that? You're gonna have to call your friends, tell them that you're gonna be late because I'm gonna need you to explain. There's been a whole lot of trying, a whole lot of crying, a whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you, but I don't want to be like you. There's been a whole lot of trying, a whole lot of crying, a whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you, but I don't want to be like you. Cause I could do, I could do better, I could do, I could do better. I don't be you, I don't 
after that, I just went ahead and I put all of the moss that I had into a bowl so I could kind of just work through different pieces, different colors and textures. And, you know, it was just really a matter of me placing it onto the mirror as I thought would suit it best. So I'm just kind of grabbing different pieces, holding it up to the mirror, seeing how it looks, swapping it out with other pieces if I feel like it'll look better. It's really kind of just like an intuitive process here at this point. I've seen what looks good and what doesn't and really just filling up the entirety of the rim of the mirror with this green, beautiful moss. So I think the variety of different moths that I had in the pack that I bought really helped kind of like elevate this mirror because it wasn't just strictly one color. So I liked the variety in the different moths that I had. There were some that were more like coral textured pieces, if you will. There was also some wooden pieces that were really cool. You know, it really just gave it like more of a genuine like woodsy mossy look than if I were to stick with just one color entirely. So I'm just doing my best here to kind of separate all of the different varieties of moss and, you know, not have too much of one type in one area. I was just kind of spreading it out and diversifying it as much as I could. Originally, I was anticipating on holding off on putting the little trinkets on there for the next step in the process, but there was just some areas where I knew I wanted, you know, a little mushroom to be or my little gnome guys to be hanging out. So I kind of just threw those in there as I was working. I mean, I kind of just had a really great time with it at this point. It was fun just building it up and kind of seeing it come together. This was a really fun project to work on. After I got all of the moss onto the mirror, I then started cutting off these little ropes that came on the bottom of my mushrooms. I thought that this would just make it easier to super glue these little pieces on and I'm really happy with the mushrooms that I chose for this project. I feel like the red mushrooms really contrasted really good against this green and even the fairy that I picked out for this project had red hair which I thought would kind of tie in nice with everything. And then the other mushroom selection that I had for this project looked very realistic to me. And yeah, all in all, I'm like really happy with the supplies that I got for this project. So if you guys are looking to use the same products, like I mentioned, they will be down in the description bar for you.
so after I got all of the little stems cut off of the mushrooms, I decided it would be a good time to go back with the remainder of the LED lights and just finish wrapping that around the outskirts of the mirror. Um, it was a little bit trickier this time trying to hide the wire, but I think it was worth it doing it this way because a lot of the lights were then more front and center and not just hidden behind the green moss. So when you turn it on at night, it gives it a really nice illuminating glow. And even when I was placing on some of these mushrooms, I put them kind of like right on top of the LED light so that they're also lit up. But yeah, like I mentioned, it's really just kind of intuitive. So, you know, just kind of place things where you think would look nice and where you see fit. Um, I thought it was also a good idea to put some of these mushrooms on the sides of the mirror and kind of like hanging off the top so that the mushrooms were kind of like sprouting out in different directions. I wanted it to resemble what you would find in nature pretty organically. So, um, yeah. After getting on all of the LED lights, I then went ahead and started placing the mushrooms on the mirror. I would say it is important to make sure that when you're gluing the mushrooms down to hold it there for a good 10 to 20 seconds to make sure it's dried and sticking well. Um, especially these white mushrooms that I have here, they're a little bit heavier than the red ones I have. Those are kind of made more out of like a styrofoam material. So they were not as heavy as the other mushrooms I had. So for those, I would say that you kind of have to use a little bit more super glue and hold them there quite a bit longer for them to, you know, not fall off. <laughs> so just something to keep in mind if you're doing this project yourself. So yeah, that's about all I did really for this project. It wasn't tedious at all. I think it's something that everybody could do and the results were beautiful. So um, here is the final product. is going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. 
I think it turned out just as good as I thought it would, if not better. So give it a shot if you want to try to build this yourself. As I mentioned, everything will be linked down below. I'm excited to hang this up in my new studio. I feel like it's going to be a great little addition. But yeah, that's all I got for this one today. I upload every Monday at 11.11. So if you're not subscribed already, that's rude. <laughs> but really, I do appreciate you guys being here. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye.